Hi everybody, this is Sheila Aliens. Today is August 21st, 2011. There are new pictures of Comet Elenin as of the 19th. These were taken by amateur astronomer Michael Matiazzo in Australia, the 19th of August, 2011. Okay, so Comet Elenin is 213,500 kilometers in linear size. What I think that means is from the end of the tail of the comet to the front of the comet, which if I go over and convert that over two miles, then I get 132,662 miles in linear size. So one of the comments for this news article about Elenin on spaceobs.org is from a reader who says, Hello, mister. Is your comment really a wimpy one? So why has it been observed 2,218 times by NASA? And he gives a link to show how many times they have observed it. Only Halley and Hale-Bopp have been observed more, and Elenin has yet to even reach perihelion yet. Even the great comet of 2007, McNaught, has been observed only 328 times. There is something strange about it. Don't you agree with me? And they reply, I already wrote about this in 2,000 observations made by many observatories around the world. Well, whatever. You guys can look into that further if you're more curious, but that guy's on top of his shit right there. And in case you were confused about why you keep hearing different dates for Elenin, that's because Elenin will be at its closest to Earth on the 16th and 17th of October 2011. It will be its closest to the sun, or perihelion, on September 10th and 11th, 2011. If nothing happens on September 10th and 11th, then we'll have the next doomsday to look forward to on October 16th and 17th. If that doesn't happen, then everybody will be looking forward to November 11th, or November 9th. Fun times. Just thought I would point that out. Much love. I almost forgot. I need to let you guys know I'm going to be on the radio show Freedom Slips this Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern. And it's just freedomslips.com. And they have a chat room. And these graphics are by Alan Graphics, by the way. I had to show them off. Much love. I'm <laughs> <laughs>